My name is Jackie Estrada, and I'm one of a handful of people who've been to every single San Diego Comic-Con. And over the years, I had many different positions. I was handling PR, I was handling the Artist Alley, and I edited the souvenir book and the events guide many times. And since 1990, I've been the administrator of the Will Eisner Comic Industry Awards. Comic book people, photographs from the 1970s and 1980s, how this came about was I was a photographer back in that era. I did my own developing, did my own printing, and I took hundreds of pictures every year starting in about 1978. And we have uh, Bob Kane drawing Batman, which you didn't see too often in those days because <laughs> he usually had other people draw Batman people from the golden and silver age of comics, the people who maybe weren't appreciated during their period, but they came to Comic-Con. So when you think of Shazam and Captain Marvel, C.C. Beck is the guy who drew Captain Marvel. He came, brought a guitar, and sat and played music uh, at the Blood Drive. We have here Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, who created Superman. And they're just hanging around. Here's Jerry Siegel dancing with his wife at a party. Mark Hamill just uh, snuck down to the show from L.A. because his friends uh, Bill Moomy and Miguel Ferrar had a band that was playing, so he wanted to see them. They were called Seduction of the Innocent. Bill Moomy, Miguel's on the drums, there he is there, and they wrote a song called King Jack or King Kirby that was about Jack Kirby, so here's Jack and his wife Roz dancing to Seduction of the Innocent, uh, playing a song that they wrote about him. I guess the only other thing I'd say is that some of the photos I have, nobody else got a picture of that person when they were at the show, so that's the one evidence that they had that that, that Golden Age person or that Underground Comics person was at Comic-Con. I don't know why people didn't take as many photos back then as I, you know, I just felt like I needed to document it. But the year Alan Moore came, it seems like I'm the only one that took pictures of Alan Moore. This is the very first program from the very first Comic-Con in 1970. The great Jack Kirby did a wraparound cover. And then the uh, inside has uh, the program in it and uh, just some pinups and things, but that's, it was called the San Diego Golden State Comic Con for the first year, for the first couple years, but it did uh, become Comic Con uh, in the third year. So one of the things I liked is that we would also do themes, and we still do some themes for the programming, but like the, the theme in 1983 was the 60s. Can't quote exactly, but at some point Jack Kirby says, I can see in the future people coming from all over the world to San Diego, not just for comics, but because they're fans of other things too, like maybe science fiction or movies or something. And you listen to that today and you just think, wow, he was uh, far out there at the time and people uh, didn't know how prophetic he was.